everybody. Welcome back to AP2 Lab. And today we are going to go ahead and check a patient's blood pressure. So let's suppose you walk into the exam room and you have a patient waiting for you. And maybe Macaroni here came in today because he was feeling a little hoarse. So uh, one of the things that we're going to do is check his blood pressure as part of his physical exam. So just like we talked about during the lesson, we're going to use a sphygmomanometer. And uh, it is composed of three parts like we discussed. We've got the cuff that fits on the patient. We've got a gauge to measure pressure. And we've got a bulb to force air into the cuff. So the first thing we've got to remember is when we put the cuff on the patient's arm, we have to make sure that we've got it proximal to the elbow. This is very important, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to puff air into this cuff and we're going to cut off the flow of blood through the brachium, the upper arm, into the brachial artery, okay? And here is our bend in the elbow. This is our important landmark, okay? Not only because we're going to put the cuff above the elbow, but because we're going to go ahead and place our stethoscope right at that bend of the elbow over where the brachial artery is. Okay. And why are we doing that? Because to take blood pressure, it's all about when we hear the sound of the pulse returning to the arm and then hear it disappear again. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to first tighten the cuff and we're going to go ahead and puff some air in here. And we want to make sure our gauge is at least at 180 millimeters of mercury. We're going to pretty much uh, banish blood pressure in 99% of our patients that way. Now, once we've done that, we want to go ahead and open that gauge a little bit and let the pressure fall slowly. And at the same time, we're going to take our stethoscope, we're going to put it over the brachial artery, and we're going to watch that blood pressure fall. We're going to listen for the sound of the pulse. Boom, I just heard it. Keep that number in mind and keep listening for when it disappears again. Boom, it's gone. Okay, so what does that tell me? That first number where I heard the pulse return, that is the point where the pressure in the left ventricle is overcoming the pressure in the cuff. That is our systolic blood pressure. That's the number on top of our equation. Second number where the sound disappears, that is the arteries. Resistance in the arteries overcoming the pressure in the cuff. So that is our diastolic pressure. So our friend Macaroni here has a nice normal median blood pressure of 120 over 80. So yay Macaroni. All right and that is how we go ahead and take blood pressure. So hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, hopefully we'll see you back in AP2 lab again. Bye now.